Song Fox obviously has been making a name for himself in the fighting game community. He's been really upping his fighting game experience. He um, plays everything. The last time I saw Sonic Fox versus Excalibur Blades, I would definitely have said Excalibur Blades is in favor to win. But Sonic Fox has been really making a name for himself, uh, really been using his own character, sort of not really picking up after Quiggle, uh, the way that Quiggle uses um, Christy. And I like that about him because I, I, I always his own think, characters. yeah, I thought when he when he started losing with uh, Mary Rose, he would switch to Christy. But it's like, no, he sticks with her through and through. So he's really just, he found his he's found his character. Um, he's able to use the tech he learned from his brother uh, on that character to help him make them win the matches. Yeah. Uh, because before it felt like more like he was like a shadow of his brother, like just trying to do what his brother does uh, to win the matches for Qu with, uh, Christy or Rachel. And it wasn't helping him out any when he was up against his brother. Ah. And I think the top three here, I think they're all friends. Because I think when they both walked up on the stage, it was like no game face. They're sitting up talking and shaking hands and laughing and joking with each other. And I think Rakuto didn't want Lopito to get too far because I think on on who makes who made who has made the most money in DOA, Rakuto was there. But now that <laughs> Lopito the entire life of DOA, <laughs> Rakuto actually won the most money from winning the launch party event, the yeah. seventy five hundred dollar prize. Um, and so he was, and Lopito winning TFC twenty thirteen last year, he he ended up getting like sixty four hundred. Right. And this is, this is the first tournament Lopito's come back to since that tournament. Yeah, he, he hasn't he, been anywhere. He yeah. did win a little bit from final round, but that was a payout to top eight. Mm -hmm. I think he came in, what did he come in, third or he second? He came in third, I Third, believe. yeah, because so Rakuto yeah. got second. Yep. So Rakuto got some money from there as well. Got more money than Lapito. Yes. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I didn't, yeah, they're both 16 years old, yeah. And to 16, 16, and 20. Google happy he was able to finally start drinking at yeah. this event. <laughs> yeah. 16 and 16. He talking trash to the DOA yeah, community. Talking, yeah, it's, it's like, I all mean, the young blood have I, killed us out. I can't, I can't, I can't knock it because it's a young man's game. You know, back when we were highly proficient at it, we were this age or a little older. So it's like you know. It seems like so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> Of, uh, all night playing Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate on the Xbox Online. Yeah. Like every time I tell him, I'm like, I'm going to play the game a lot more. And then I, I go back home and then real life sets in. <laughs> it's like, I'm not playing this game like that. What are we doing? Sonic Fox, the qualifier, opponent.com. Right. Uh, John Acano, who's a longtime uh, friend of the community. Yeah. Uh, was, was really one of the big guys who were pushing community involvement even like eight years ago. Yeah. Back, back with uh, Team Ninja before they merged with Koei. Uh, he's doing his own thing, doing opponent.com, where you can you can just put up your own free, like, uh, own videos of, of certain games. Uh -huh. uh, and if people vote it up and get a certain amount of people voting it, then you end up getting free prizes. <laughs> like, there's nothing... It's, it's so easy. You just yeah. make, make a video of, of your game, of you playing a game. They'll have a ladder going on for like two weeks. Uh, if, if your video ends up winning or is not even in the top five or ten, depending on the bracket or ladder, uh -huh. you, you get like free DLC, free codes, free gear. I got like a, a signed copy of Yaiba for submitting a video <laughs> of me playing a match on the tournament. Oh, uh, maybe. Is that is that um, – because I've been seeing a lot of people post matches. Yeah. As of late, that's why, okay. And they're just recording their stuff and then submitting it to opponent.com and getting their friends to vote it up, getting that free gear. I mean, there's oh, like, okay. there's no, no reason you shouldn't be doing it. Shout out to Pano. They're, they're, they're doing extra stuff here. They, they want music going on. I guess this is like no, the first uh, person Sonic to Fox require, requires that he listen to his own music. So he makes <laughs> sure that he sets his characters and all his other, and all his opponent's characters to his music. So that way he can hear his music in, in game. Wow, I'm pretty sure his opponent doesn't care. I like that they're listening. When I'm at home, it's I don't 
I've gotten to the point to where the soundtracks, because I like listening to the DOA 2U uh, uh, songs and, and the DOA 3 songs, but at this point in time, I listen to the sound effects. This game has a lot going on when you turn off the music in the game. I want to know, is, is this a button check or they're going straight no, in? No, no. Sonic Horses is not like button checks. They're probably just going straight into it. Wow, read the hold, and advanced high hold. Counter, yeah. High counter advanced hold, meaning that he reacted to that two frames. Alpha is like a glass cannon. She's actually very, very featherweight. She's like the lightest character in the game, almost double the height as any other characters. But she doesn't have any wake up kicks. She has to be four stick, as you just saw. And that back turn sweep is very good for Mario Rose. Because it's actually like it. even a mid crush. Yeah. You have to do a true mid, a mid that's coming up from the ground to the mid attack. Oh, drop juggle. Again, like it's sort of like the disadvantage with Alpha is that she's the lightest character in the game. The advantage is that not many players get a chance to practice the combos on her. Yeah. So that's I guess that's why you see like drop juggle from time to time. Yeah, so it's sort of like a, a blessing and a curse. <laughs> because their normal bread and butter juggles won't actually work. Yeah. Now there you saw Marie Rose's like free stepping sidestep attack. It it completely got out of the way of Alpha String round one fight. Oh now this is burst. It wasn't any sort of counter hits, but it's still gonna do a lot of damage. If that was high counter, we'll have done 50% life. That's unsafe, no punish. That's safe from distance. Oh we got a punish, okay, cool. Oh, wow. wow. Keeping the stun going. That's death. Yeah. You have custom juggles for uh, oh nice. He waited. He he waited on it and yeah, then punished that's, that's him. That's what you have to do. Oh yeah, let's look at these hands right here. <laughs> no no arcade sticks here. Nice use of her evasive attack. Get around the whole. Like Alpha has really long strings and mix-ups, so he just uses. Oh, oh he's, he's dead. dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> this is it. End of round. I think that would have been death even if it hit on normal. Yeah. Went for the parry. Unfortunately, the low came. The double trip. Tried getting the critical burst. Got the advanced hold into the wall. Thankfully, it wasn't explosive. Tried going for the force tech. Sonic Fox does not want to hold, because if he does, he's going to die. Nice use of her, her high counter throw. Went, knew he was going to parry. Yeah. Good that choice is a, for the throw. Yeah, that's a neutral throw, by the way. Well, he did a good choice, because generally, Excalibur Blade, now that's safe. They don't want to go for the throw punish. That's death. So generally, what happens is if Excalibur Blades has his back to the wall on a tech up, he'll generally will try going for the parry to position switch you into the wall. Okay. And so there's a good chance that he'll try going for the parry. I think that's why Sonic Fox went with the throw option. Right. And then he went for the throw option. If you notice, he backed away because when Alpha is sat down on the wall, she automatically takes, uh, she disappears back to Right. I think the American players believe Alpha is is definitely a really good character. Right. Bottom bottom of the high, like top of the mid. And uh, to me, a lot of the foreign players think that she's very low tier. Like one of the yeah. Worst the worst. Uh, to me, it's a weird positioning for Alpha. So now we have Helena on the sh uh, on the screen. Look at that damage. It's just as much mix up as Mario Rose. And he's like, going off. Like Elena, once she gets her engine revved up, it's, uh, it's yeah because you can't slow escape any of her stuns. You have to hold out of them. You're, you're forced. To, you're forced to hold. You yeah. Can't. And then that only resets what she's going to do. And what makes it worse is that they're in the water right now. So Helena, I think, has better, uh, better slip stunts, as we call them. Lift stun right there. Lift stun's so another force hold stun. This is going to do some damage. 45% life. Good. He, he guarded taking up. He didn't want to get hit with that frame advantage. I really like that he does advanced hold. I have not seen a regular hold from that him slope, yet. That slope is what killed that juggle, though, unfortunately. Oh, try going for the advanced hold back turn. Trying to just knock him off right now. Get some of the ground game damage. And that's death. Yeah, I think he spent too much time trying to set him up to knock him off instead of actually trying to fight. It's been almost a year since Excalibur Blades has won a tournament, though. So I think he has something to prove in this one. Yeah. 
Especially after Summer Jam. I know he was not proud of his performance there. Good. He, he guarded off the wake up kick. Back turn limbo stun means guaranteed launch. Nice hold. Advanced, advanced mid kick hold. Well, if you're going to hold the wake up game, you might as well just go for the advanced version, anyways. Yeah. Low kick. Yep, see, he knows. Yeah. I told you, you got to watch out for this stuff with Excalibur Blades. He'll go for that critical burst, see, guard it, and go for the follow up for the string. Oh, wow, that was weird. Nice. Any Anything can be done to Mary Rose when you block that. I always prefer to go for attacks versus throwing her because you can find attacks that will stun her on normal hit. Right, and then additionally throws will, um, may, may not be able to reach her like we just saw. Yeah. Like it's weird, like low throws and standing throws can punish her, but it's you have to it's a weird timing on either one. It depends on how much of an angle she was at when she decided to um decide to do her butt slam. Yeah. This is this is death, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. it, okay. If he didn't, it was like one pixel of health. And it's tight, yeah. It's tied up now. Now the, now the stage, as you probably have noticed, is actually three different like mountains and that totally randomly generate based on when you fall off. And you get this stage. Which you get a stage which is neutral but small. You get this stage which is much bigger, but all these pillars that can cause guaranteed attacks. Yeah, guaranteed sit stuns. down stuns. And, and then, I've also noticed when you start off at the at the beginning of the stage, but t depending on what side of the stage you fall off will determine where you end up next. Right, right. Yeah. After that, it's completely random though. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna go off the ledge. Not Wait. gonna be dead on this one though. Yeah. Son and if they go off on this side right here, they're going to go right back to the pillar side. Now, Sonic Fox needs one more to win Winner's Finals. One more. I want to see this. I think Blade should, should stay the same. I think he should. Don't, don't change. And I think he's going to change. Oh, he's going to fight again. Okay. I think he saw the alpha gameplay and he's like, my element of doing a little bit better with yeah. the evasion. Oh, you know, this is a, a pretty much hated stage by many players. Um, I like I, it. <laughs> I, I personally like this stage. I think I think it has a lot of strategy in order to get your, get and, your opponent out the door. Both of our characters kind of benefit from, <laughs> from it a lot. I think both of these characters don't really take the overly advantageous yeah. that you tend to see from the, from the, from the uh, ones that really take advantage of it. Like that they'll both be able to use these stat these furnitures to get like the guaranteed sit down stuns, um, unholdable sit down stuns. It's gonna go through the wall. I, I don't know how this this apartment building is still standing. <laughs> oh, it was a little too early on the throw. Yeah. And that's something a, a lot of players, I've come to find out, that uh, they don't know this, but every character in the game has at least one attack that will stop that command sidestep that uh, Mary Rose has. Some characters have two, but all the characters have at least one, and you have to go in there and find it. Right into critical burst from back turn. Going to do about 40% life damage. Oh, uh, got caught throwing yeah, yeah. after teching. That's strange. I don't see why. I don't see any reason why Elena would actually be getting up and trying to. Or hold. did he catch him trying to do the command sidestep in the air stage? That could be true. That yeah. may have been it. It's really weird sometimes with jump stances. Sometimes do high counter. Sometimes do counter. Yeah. It's, just, it's really strange. I don't know which ones do it. Again, when you evade with those free stepping side steps, <laughs> they don't retract. Exactly. So in that case. She kept going forward on her string, and it was able to evade the, the, the butt bounce. Yeah. Okay, and, and Calibre Blaze is, is being the player that he's known to be since Vive uh, came out. Art. Art. Okay, nice for Kuho, Duck, starting out. Into a force tech. Let's keep the pressure going. I think that's what Calder Blaze needs to uh, go back to doing. Back to the, the play style that Helena was doing back in DOA uh, 5. 
and not caring whether Sonic Fox techs up or not and just keep going with his offense. Now, Elena is very good with her evasion, as you saw. She just used her Bunker Ho Duck to evade both mid options. Right. Or say, exactly, keep going. That's it, that's the round. Yeah, because Sonic Fox is going to keep pressing the buttons. Nice mid into the limbo stun. Oh, wow. Tried resetting it, but I think Calibrez wasn't stagger escaping to get the reset. That's that, an unholdable stun there. That, that's a split stun. He expected the hold, though. There we go. Now he saw the right. hold. Back turn mix up game. I think oh. he just went for guaranteed damage there and didn't want to go for the 50 50s. This won't kill. Force tech. Nice use of the... Oh, yes. There we go. Take it to, a, take it to the final match. Now I'm almost certain if Caliber Blaze went for a mid-kick launcher, Sonic Fox would have probably held it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we got we got a 2-2 here. Uh-oh. Will we see Christy? Yep. Okay. He's, at, he's looking to his brother to see if he yeah. should. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his brother's his brother waving him no. off. His brother's waving him off. I'm trying to figure out who they're trying to tell because he only well he plays Christy, Mario Rose, and, and Ra yeah Rachel. Um, I I think Rachel's good here. I think he should stick with Mario Rose, and yeah. I think that's what his brother told him. Stick with Mario Rose and slow down. Yeah. Stop abusing the jump. I like that Team Ninja brought this Helena costume back from uh, DOA Four. It's always Kat Katsu's um, uh, PS3, and he's one of those guys who spent every single DLC costume. <laughs> oh, yeah. His so game was taking a really long time. He's hoping that when last round comes out, we're going to have PS4, so he doesn't have to buy all the costumes again on the Xbox One. Oh, yeah. I love this stage, personally. What costume is Mayor? Is that a Playboy? It's, it's, it's bunny? a bunny outfit. Yeah, bunny, it's an okay. Alice in Wonderland bunny outfit. Okay. We see a lot of patience now from Sonic Fox. A nice advanced uh, hold there. He's going to do about 20% damage right there. Nice mix up. Got oh, the wow, back to throw up right next range. to the wall. Okay, good. He's able to get around the wall. Those trees do not break, like most things we've seen in fillers. Yeah, you kind of. Yeah, They're they actually act, just like circular walls. That act weird when you slam people into them. Now you go for the damage or you go for the mix up. He went for the mix up. Got him in an extra by about 15% life. Saw the low coming. Okay, finally, that was a regular hold. That wasn't an advanced one. Nice for Coho Duck. That was an advanced hold there. And he got the wall a little bit. When they smack the wall like that, they only get half of the damage, so like five points of damage. It's sort of like a, a half bounce, so yeah. uh, an angled bounce. Yeah, they only like get five and five not the whole ten. Yeah. yeah. I saw Caliber Brace had to hold the crushing low, but his timing was off, and he got hit by it. Limbo Back stun again. Stun. Guaranteed launch. Like about 35% life. Unsafe. Good punish. Good punish. Oh, got, got caught sidestepping basically. Nice pressure string. Nice punish, punish again. Uh, watch out for that I like low. to point out again, two punish throws allowed him to close out that match. Not hitting the button. Yeah, see, he, he, <laughs> yeah. knows, he knows Caliber's tricks. I pointed that out earlier. <laughs> but it is difficult to know what it's going to do and then reacting to it. That kick is a very good stun. Nice high Put kick. Put him into some stuns. Force tech. Uh, Try doing his evade, but it didn't And he work. got high counter hit. He got high counter hit yeah. there again. Oh, critical bars. Oh, it, that's, it, that, that's, that's it. That's it. And, and Caliber plays to move on to grand finals. Keep going, okay. I don't think uh, Sonic Fox is too happy with his choice as far as staying with uh, with Mary Rose there. Yeah, but you know, styles make fights as they say. What's up, guys? This is Spooky just jumping off for a second before the losers' finals. Mm -hmm. Styles make fights as they say, and they're, uh, you know. Yeah. Excalibur Place definitely made a solid adjustment. <laughs> Quiggles is talking <laughs> Sonic Fox right now. 
You know what? I don't think Sonic Fox is out because he's still in, he's still in winners. This yes. is disappointing, but he's fine. And I think he has to play his brother yep. again. So again. let's so see, see if he goes. can. Yeah. All right. So losers finals coming up. And Caliber Blaze will be patiently waning. Yep. All right, and guys. Then, while we wait for the, the next match. Finals. Sorry to cut you off. While we wait for the next match, um, I want to give some love to our sponsors. First off, a big shout out to the fine folks at Mad Cat to create the Fight Stick of Champions. Right now, you can get thirty dollars off on the Fight Stick Pro, the Fight Stick Carrier, the Fight Stick Korea Edition. All at store.madcast.com. Hold on, hold on. Chosen one, what are you doing, man? You can't be here in the booth. No, Ponton is holding it down, man. What are you talking Tom Lee is not who's running the stream over here, bro. Did you talk to Eric or Larry or anybody? Or did you just... There's no coordination. Sorry, guys. We are back.
Get ready, fight! Wait. 